Good, um, good evening. Good evening, good evening. I came in a bit late and I'm kind of whispering because uh, other people are sleeping. <laughs> Frank, good now. Other people are sleeping and um, yeah, I might just wake them up with um, ah! my loudness. But uh, I'm sorry, I have a bit of a dry throat today, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hope I'll be able to <clears throat> talk without uh, falling off <laughs> track with this dryness in my throat. Hi, everyone. <laughs> yeah, I have uh, a message that I actually have today is something that made me think, hmm. Are we usually, are we always as strong as we think we are? Because just when I was thinking, okay, I, I'm over the trip because I had traveled. Okay, everything is now settled. Then thoughts started coming into my head and one thing led to another. One thought led to another thought and another thought and another thought. And before I knew it, I had so many things to deal with in my head and I had so many questions. I had to find answers and the answers that I found sometimes they were not satisfactory and I just thought mm, there's only one way to find out about these things it's actually just to maybe call people and hear uh, what's going on here and uh, yeah how about the situation how what's your meaning or what is your take on it and um, yeah I I really I really got tired from just thinking, like, seriously tired. I thought, okay, I'm feeling like a headache now because I've really been thinking and thinking and finding answers and finding mazes where I can't find the answer. I cannot connect one or two things. But I slept and I thought, no, let me sleep for 15 minutes. I slept for an hour and I tried to wake up. I couldn't, that's how tired my mind, my body was also. And um, this is one thing that I, that I want to actually, hi Charity. <laughs> this is one thing that I, uh, that actually I want to share today because, you know, we have, we have this thinking sometimes as human beings. No, I can always just bottle it up, you know, let me just put a lid on it and, uh, it will probably just disappear in the blue. But the truth of the matter is if you don't confront issues, they will always be there and they will at the most just eat you up. Because at the most, the answer that you're looking for, it's already there. You should just ask the question so that you actually get the answer that you're looking for. And um, yeah, why waste time? thinking and fighting your thoughts because you know there's this thing we have as human beings uh, and I'll refer kind of to the Bible the Bible actually says somewhere who am I to judge like if I start judging other people then I take the place of God and that really makes that 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 really is something that I'm really trying to work on because if there's one person who can be judgmental about other people I'm just saying it I'm just confessing it so that you know, next time I look at you, ah, wait, wait. but my judgment is like this. I speak it out. <laughs> and I'm always ready to offer a suggestion because sometimes I think, this I've tried, let me just say it, but I don't know what your situation is sometimes. And I think it's stupid for, for me to say something before I actually hear. So this is exactly what I was fighting with. And eventually, anyway, I made, I made some calls here, there, here, there, and... I got one or two, three things where they're supposed to be. But uh, just the thought of me carrying a heavy burden in my head, questioning myself when I'm actually not the person who should be answering, I'm telling you, it made me feel depressed. As in, if you think depression is only for white people, snap out of it. It's even for people like me. 
anybody anybody is capable of just getting down and just going down with depression anybody is a potential candidate but listen if the person that you that you have thoughts about is near you why not why not just call them and uh ask what about this situation what's your take on this i was thinking like this but i don't know if i'm right because the issue of judging other people you might just judge somebody wrong because some people are just generally quiet and you'll be thinking ah they think so high of themselves some people don't just want to share their lives like people like me like oh okay just, i'm just gonna share i'm just gonna do this just because you are outgoing does not mean everybody else is and just because you are quiet doesn't mean other people should not have the right to talk the way they are because think about it if the rainbow only had red like red was the only color on the rainbow was it going to be a beautiful thing i don't think so and this is the dy this is the dynamics of the, these are actually the dynamics of life we are all different and we spice up life differently and i think instead of judging each other we should start getting good at just going to that person and asking well this is what i was thinking but i want to hear uh, what is the truth or instead of airing your views that's already being judgmental if i can say it in that way instead of saying what you think why not maybe ask ah, you know i was wondering about this thing where do you stand on it you know like i was just wondering are you really just a quiet person or don't say your opinion then you hear somebody actually explain to you oh, this is the thing this is why i'm like this and this and this and this and this and this before we judge other people, let's think about this. If they judged us wrong, how would we feel? Because that is actually an accusation. When you judge somebody else wrong or even right, it's already an accusation that you put on them. And uh, I've been good at doing that, but I think today really was like one of those things. Okay, this is actually what I've been thinking about. This is what I've been talking about and I haven't been doing it. But today when I did it, I felt some relief. But even after that relief was gone, I'm telling you the tiredness, the tiredness that you put in your head when you start judging other people, when you start accusing other people because you think something about them. It, I think this is the way it worked for me. Every time I had a wrong thought that I connected to another wrong thought about somebody else, it actually put a bundle of tiredness on me. I had another thought another bundle of tiredness and another and another bundle of tiredness and another bundle of tiredness i just kept on going you know lower and lower and lower and my mood started like it started swinging then it just said you know what we're just going down and really i i was really i was really like at my lowest today the only thing i could do so that i don't start screaming at my children i was like you know what i'm gonna sleep for like 30 minutes let me just just go out and play and I just want to have some peace. I didn't want to put up a drama, but I think today they could feel mom is not in her best of mood. So put the judgment away. If you have an issue with somebody, ask them. Otherwise, if you choose to be quiet, keep it away and throw it out of your mind totally because it's just going to kill you. It's going to make you have thoughts that are not clean about that person. It's going to kill your mood. It's actually going to put just a lot of dirt and depression in your body. So don't kill yourself softly like I did today. Be honest with yourself. If somebody judged you wrongly, how would you feel? The same is a thought that you should have before you start having those wrong thoughts about somebody else. Okay, if I were that person, would I feel good that I'm thinking like this about that person? So it's training. I'm not a perfect, uh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not in perfection and I'll never reach perfection. And I know that each one of us is still a creation in the making. And I'm trying my best to actually just avoid judging people altogether because it's just, it's just a wrong career. If, if, we, if we can say it like that, it's, it's depressing. It's heavy. It's terrible. It stinks. It's, it's burdening. So if you've been that kind of a person, listen to me, it almost killed me today. Like really, I couldn't get out of the bed. I was literally in bed for an hour, I think even 15 minutes. From just sleeping for 15 minutes, I just went on dragging. That's how bad the element of judging other people is. 
So be careful. Don't kill yourself softly because you just go like a bam. So on that note, I'd like to say try and put aside any judgmentalism you have on other people and think, put yourself in their shoe. If it were you, they were judging, how would you feel? On that note, I'd like to say be fruitful and be great. <laughs> And I'll take off the wig if you say that. Mm. Thank you. I actually love it. Mm. Thank you. Have you seen it? Oh, Anna. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, yeah, so have a lovely day and uh, be fruitful and be greatness. And I say I love you. Mwah.